Hi friends, once again back to biologyexamsforyou.com. Today the topic of our discussion is the difference between the cell wall of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria in detail. Starting with the number of layers and composition in gram-positive and gram-negative cell wall. In the case of gram-positive cell wall, as you can see, the screen colored wall is a plasma membrane. On the outer side of the plasma membrane, there is a thick peptoglycan wall. So, in the case of gram-positive bacteria, cell wall is single layer made up of thick peptoglycan layer of about 20 to 80 nanometer thick. Whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, as you can see, on the outer side of this plasma membrane, there is a thin layer of peptoglycan wall. On the outside of the peptoglycan wall, there is an outer layer that is made up of lipopolysaccharide. So, in the case of gram-negative bacteria, cell wall is double-layered. An outer layer that is made up of lipopolysaccharide, to the inside of that, there is a thin layer of peptoglycan wall. In the case of gram-positive bacteria, the periplasmic space is very small, whereas in the case of gram-negative bacteria, there is a large periplasmic space. Difference number two regarding how gram-stain works, the basic principle of gram-stain Gram staining is primarily due to the difference in the cell wall composition of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So let us see what is actually happening. So this is the chemical nature of gram positive and gram negative cell wall. So in the first step we are adding crystal violet. Both gram positive and gram negative will take up the stain. It turns violet. Second step we will be adding iodine. Iodine is a modern that will make the staining more effective. So the stain attaches more firmly to the cell wall. And the third step is the most important step that is the addition of alcohol. On adding alcohol, gram-positive bacteria retains the color of crystal violet. That is why it is called as gram-positive. Whereas gram-negative bacteria loses its color of crystal violet. So, in order to visualize this gram-negative bacteria further, we need to stain it further with a counter stain, that is safranin. After alcohol treatment, gram-positive bacteria retains the color of crystal violet, whereas gram-negative bacteria loses the color of crystal violet. And the next step is counter staining with safranin. While adding safranin, gram-positive bacteria is already stained, so safranin will not attach to the wall of gram positive bacteria whereas gram negative bacteria it is destained on alcohol treatment therefore safranin can stain the wall of gram negative bacteria so the actual principle is on adding alcohol as in the case of gram positive bacteria it is having a thick outer peptoglycan wall has attached or bound to the peptoglycan wall and alcohol cannot dissolve this peptoglycan wall therefore the stain remain intact even after alcohol treatment whereas in the case of gram negative bacteria as we know the outer membrane is made up of lipopolysaccharide the stain crystal violet is attached or bound to the outer membrane so lipopolysaccharide or lipid will get dissolved on alcohol treatment therefore Alcohol treatment can destain this gram negative bacteria. So, in order to further visualize this gram negative bacteria, therefore we need a counter stain like safranin. This is what we get at the end. Gram positive bacteria will remain violet, take up or retain the color of the crystal violet, whereas gram negative bacteria, as it is destained by alcohol treatment, we have counter stained with safranin and gram-negative bacteria will be having the color pink that is the color of safranin or the counter stain and this is the principle of gram staining and is due to the differential and primarily it is due to the difference in cell wall components of gram positive and gram negative bacteria now moving into the third difference that is regarding the cell wall composition in the case of gram positive bacteria Ticoic acid is present, you can see, and lipid content is very low, and generally lipopolysaccharide is absent. Whereas in the case of gram negative cell wall, 
stichoic acid is absent and there is good amount of lipid 15 to 20 percent and lipopolysaccharide outer layer is present difference number four is regarding the porin proteins and lysozyme sensitivity gram positive bacteria porins are absent or water channels are absent and is sensitive to lysozyme as lysozyme can degrade this peptidoglycan wall very easily and causes cell lysis whereas gram negative cell wall as we know there is an outer membrane which is made up of lipopolysaccharide therefore lysozyme cannot directly attack the peptidoglycan wall and this peptidoglycan wall is protected by this lipid layer and lipid layer is resistant to lysozyme action and porins or water channels are present in gram negative cell wall that is one of the reason that gram negative bacteria is more pathogenic or disease causing than gram positive bacteria hope things are clear you are with biologyexamsforyou.com thank you so much for your support